What's going on you guys? Chasing here with another movie recommendation. Uh, yesterday, inspired by WrestleMania 36, I chose The Wrestler to be my movie of the day. Uh, today, trying to keep that theme because it is part two of WrestleMania 36, I tried to find another wrestling-based movie. Ready to Rumble, of course, is the one that comes to mind, but definitely not a, a film to speak highly of cinema, right? As a wrestling fan and <laughs> a nerd of that medium, Ready to Rumble is a guilty pleasure, but not quite exactly what I wanted to do for you guys. Again, different, challenging movies that are really, really good that you might have missed or might not have given the time. So, I don't know how long you guys have been following Shu and I, but one, of, one thing that I've been saying since we started um, working together and I started Chasing Cinema was that I was never a big fan of Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp, obviously the height of controversy recently, uh, all of Amber Heard's drama, and then all the new uh, you know, videotapes that were released earlier this year right before the Super Bowl. Uh, but my thing isn't with Johnny Depp personally. Obviously, if he did bad things, then, you know, all that stuff. But my thing with Johnny Depp is I felt like he was an actor that got so much appreciation and so much love when, after a while, he stopped giving really strong performances. And I don't mean to be you know, like condescending, you know, everyone is allowed and entitled to make their own type of art and do what they love. But um, it is a bummer when you see someone get a certain amount of praise when there are so many other actors working, uh, mastering the craft and really honing it in. And someone who's really kind of now just dependent on a popular stereotype. Uh, and what's funny is my favorite performance from Johnny Depp uh, actually isn't very far off from one of his characters, but he did it in a film that really, really showed off his skills as a performer, and it didn't just depend on how he looked or makeup and stuff like that. So, oddly enough, and, and here, you could look at mostly of our review, the Alice in Wonderland reviews, you could look up the Pirates of the Caribbean reviews. I've always said Johnny Depp just really kind of has been putting on makeup and phoning it in, and, you know, so is kind of Tim Burton. I think Tim Burton got really popular style after seeing Dumbo, which I was not a fan of. Um, he just kind of really popularized his style. He was really, you know, innovative at one point in his career, and then he got surpassed, unfortunately. I think Big Eyes, though, was a, was a film that kind of broke Tim Burton out of that, though he's, you know, went back to doing Dumbo and stuff like that. But uh, nevertheless, <clears throat> today my movie um, involves a wrestler of some type, check, is a Johnny Depp film and a Tim Burton film. And it's my probably favorite performance from Johnny Depp, and it's Ed Wood. Um, this movie is so wonderful. If you don't know who Ed Wood was, Ed Wood was a famous filmmaker. Uh, well, infamous filmmaker, I should say. Uh, known for making terrible sci-fi horror pictures. Most famously, Plan 9 from Outer Space. But... Um, which starred Bella Lugosi and also starred a professional wrestler known as George the Animal Steel. Uh, but it was more about a man's passion and dedication to an art form. It was more about his unwavering you know, ability to push the bounds and create what he wanted, even if it wasn't what mainstream audience were watching. Ed Wood is a story of oddity. Uh, Bill Murray is also in it. Uh, Martin Landau was in this film. He plays Bella Lugosi, who Ed Wood was really close with in real life. Bella Lugosi starred in Plan 9 Out of Space. Martin Landau uh, played Bella Lugosi in this film and probably gave an equally phenomenal performance to Johnny Depp, even though Martin Landau's list of phenomenal performances are probably lo much longer and stayed in. Um, but he's so good in this film. I believe uh, it, it won two Academy Awards. I believe one of them was to Martin Landau. Uh, I, I should have I should have double-checked. But um, for sure... I'm 99% sure it went to Martin Lando because he was so good in the supporting picture. Um, yeah, really different, very fun. Uh, the movie is in primarily black and white, just like the movies that he shot, Ed Wood shot uh, in his time. Very, very good watch. Uh, Larry Kaczynski uh, wrote this with Scott Alexander. They were behind uh, The People vs. O.J. Simpson, uh, many People vs. Larry Flint. Very, they worked on a lot of, lot of films um, and all equally really good i'm a huge fan of larry kaczynski and he's very very good in, uh, as a writer and he really did a great job of this film so my pick of the day is going to be ed wood uh a quirky very funny but awesome performance from johnny depp and this is what all you depp heads should be talking about all right guys that's it for today